Hey guys, it's Ash, and many of you guys have been asking for attack strategy videos on Clash Royale. So I'm going to start off with some great content for beginners. And in this video, I'm going to share one of the best beginner decks revolved around using the epic Baby Dragon card and show you guys a lot of attack strategies with this deck. Basically, you have the Baby Dragon, and what makes the Baby Dragon special is that it can fly. And uh, he does splash damage, allowing him to destroy the smaller horde of low hit point troops such as skeletons, goblins, archers, barbarians, and so on. So you want to couple the baby dragon with something that does point damage such as the musketeer. She does heavy point damage. So you definitely want to couple your splash damaging baby dragon with a strong point damage rain troop such as the musketeer uh, and she's going to stay behind your baby dragon. And you also want to couple the musketeer and the baby dragon with another strong shielding troop in the giant. He has lots of hit points so he's one of the best supporting troops for the baby dragon and the musketeer and along with these troops we're going to add in more ranged troops uh, the spear goblins and archers that are ranged and can also target both air and ground troops and you can couple both of them very well behind the baby dragon or the giant or even the knight card so now i'm going to show you guys some attack strategies with this deck Okay, so we're up against Dem and he has the Prince Epic card. So I'm going to show you guys how to counter that with this deck. We're going to start off with the Giant here. And uh, since he placed some archers on the left side, we're going to have our Giant Shield. As we now are going to summon our Spear Goblins behind and also our Baby Dragon. Because he sent out Barbarians and a Bomber too. So all those troops are going to be taken out by our uh, Baby Dragon. On the right side, he sent out his... Uh, his print so we're gonna use our archers to take the charge and send out our knight so with the knight shielding and dealing damage along with the arena tower we were able to take out his prince card so now we're in the lead uh, with elixir because he spent a lot of elixir doing that so now what we can do is we can now send out our giant here and we're gonna place a fireball onto the clumped group of troops that he clumped up right there and that's gonna allow uh, the fireball to take out his knight and other troops in that region. So again, we're gonna combine our giant. Uh, we're not gonna send out our archers yet because our giant is pretty much gonna die there because he's weakened. So no point in sending out more troops uh, yet. Now he sent out his barbarians so we're gonna send out our baby dragon because he does splash damage and he's gonna deal a lot of damage onto all of those barbarians he took them out now we're gonna send out our knight combine it with our baby dragon uh, he used a fireball weakened our baby dragon so good for him there we have the knight in front of our archer so he's gonna shield for our archers as the archers go for the tower awesome and here we're gonna again load up on elixir always try to load up as much as possible don't recklessly waste them uh, here again we're gonna send out our giant to shield and our spear goblins behind along with the arena tower that we have uh, that arena tower dealing damage uh, again he sent out his uh, prince on the left unfortunately we didn't have any uh, troops to uh, take that charge damage you, damage. you don't want to you don't want to send out your musketeer on the prince uh, charge because that's just going to take out your uh, musketeer in one shot. So never send out a musketeer on the prince. Now we're going to send out that fireball right in that clumped region of barbarians and the knight. Uh, so that allowed us to take them all out. And now we're going to send out our baby dragon and then couple it with the musketeer that does that does uh, point damage as well as our other ranged troops in the spear goblins and the archers here and uh, they're all gonna go and feast on that tower on the top left again we're gonna send out our giant couple it with our musketeer behind uh, but it looks like we're running out of time so that's gonna be a clear victory great battle thanks Okay, this time we're gonna face the witch, who, uh, and she's very similar to the baby dragon, except the baby dragon is a flying splash attacker and uh, has less range than the witch. But what makes the baby dragon uh, more special than the witch is that he's bulkier, he does more damage. On the left, we're gonna send out our knight to try and weaken that uh, giant. He's gonna use the giant witch combo, a very deadly combo, but we're gonna uh, load up on the elixir here to use that fireball to take out his witch 
the fireball is not going to one hit the witch but it is, it is going to weaken her and also take out her skeletons and that's going to allow our that's going to free our arena tower to then target the witch and now since he did not focus on the uh, the right side our giants with the archers were able to take out his tower now he sent out some barbarians so we're going to send out our uh, uh, baby dragon and combine it with the giant so the giant's going to distract uh, the barbarians uh, which is going to protect our towers and that's also going to allow our baby dragon to deal splash damage and take it out now since we have a combination of baby dragon and giant we can now go for his uh, uh, his uh, king tower and we're going to combine our giant with our musketeer here but it looks like he has a good defense he used his musketeer well next to his uh, tower to take out our uh, giant so instead of focusing on the King Tower because it has a lot of hit points it's just gonna be very risky we're just gonna focus on his tower on the left so we're gonna first load up an elixir we don't need to send out any troops against that bomber because a bomber without any support troop without any meaty tanky troop like a giant uh, is very easy to just take out with our uh, arena tower so we're just gonna let our arena tower take it out here we're gonna cu couple our knight uh, with some archers and use that fireball onto his barbarians and that's gonna allow our knights and archers to take those barbarians out. Here we're gonna use our musketeer and uh, we're gonna shield the musketeer with the giant and uh, he has his witch going on there. Oh man, a giant witch musketeer combo, very deadly combo to deal with. So it's, we're gonna have some trouble here. We're gonna need a fireball because that fireball is gonna weaken all those troops and he also clumped his barbarian, big mistake. Don't clump your troops like that. Now we have uh, Baby Dragon Musketeer. We're gonna try to push for the King Tower, but no, that, that's a, that's, that was actually a pretty bad uh, mistake because look at his tower on the top left. It's weakened, so we just have to go for that tower or play defense and protect our own tower. So here we're, we're gonna have to play defense because he sent out his uh, giant on the right. So we're gonna have to send out a bunch of troops, take out that giant before it deals any damage. And it looks like time is running out. So just play defense and you're gonna win because you only need to uh, take out one more tower than your opponent to win. So that's what we've done here and we've managed to win. Good game. Okay, this time we're gonna be up against the skeleton army. Now if you're ever against the skeleton army then you're already at an advantage because the baby dragon completely eats the skeleton army alive with his splash damage. So he's gonna have uh, barbarians and giant here, no problem. Just gonna use our musketeer and baby dragon combo because that baby dragon uh, com can completely avoid any damage from the barbarians because they can't target air. Uh, so that's a big advantage with the baby dragon here. We're now going to couple the musketeer with some spear goblins, deal some more damage. He sent out a whole skeleton army. Just use your arrows and that's going to totally take out all those skeletons immediately. It's a very easy uh, card to counter. So uh, the skeleton army is a very good card though. It's a very good defense card, uh, but very easy to counter with any splash damaging card or arrows, uh, which also does splash. Now he's gonna send out his musketeer right here on the back. We're gonna couple our fireball with the tower damage. And now we're gonna couple our musketeer uh, with the giant here. He uh, sent out barbarians and spear goblins. Unfortunately, our musketeer doesn't do splash. So she's not gonna be able to take them all out, but she is gonna be able to weaken them. Uh, so now he's gonna send out his giant here. We're gonna send out our knight and couple it with our archers. We did not send out our baby dragon onto that giant because baby dragon is not as powerful as a knight. The baby dragon does splash damage, uh, but it's not powerful. The baby dragon specializes in taking out hordes of troops while the knight does uh, melee point damage. So the knight specializes in uh, taking out high hit point troops such as giants or mini pekkas or prints that have high hit points so here uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna play it cool let our elixir bar load up again we're at the lead no need to play recklessly again now we're gonna send out our baby dragon baby dragon is a very bulky troop and the splash we're gonna now combine our baby dragon with the musketeer so now we have splash and we have uh, point now we're gonna use that fireball again onto that tower since, since he sent out his musketeer right next to the tower. Don't wanna do that, that's a pretty big mistake on his part. Now, um, let's see, he has barbarians there. Unfortunately, we don't have baby dragon yet, but now we do. And now we're gonna use that baby dragon to weaken his whole swarm of 
uh, barbarians, goblins, everything there is going to be taken out by our baby dragon. And now we're going to combine the baby dragon with the musketeer and spear goblin. He sent out his uh, musketeer, but no problem. Now we're going to send out our knight, take out his giant, and now focus on his tower, send out our giant, again combine it with our baby dragon he sent out a bunch of uh, skeletons no problem we're not gonna use our arrows because our baby dragon is gonna take them out and now we're just gonna combine our baby dragon giant and that's gonna be game there's no way he can stop that even if he did we can finish off that tower with our fireball so awesome another victory good game Dem so hope you guys learned a lot from this short guide and also enjoyed watching this video if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't because I'm gonna have a lot more of these great videos so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Later.